chosen ones, empaths. You've got to realize, right, these people that were in your life, you know, whether it's family member, partner, friend, they're resentful and envious and jealous of you. For you having a pure heart, for you having a kind, loving heart. They don't understand how you can process emotions like the way that you do. They don't understand the way that you can be kind, that you don't have to manipulate to get what you want. How you can just be yourself without being a pretender. See, a lot of these narcissists are just pretenders. They're fake snakes. That's what they are. You know, they're followers of the serpent. They slither along and they manipulate, they lie, they cheat, they steal. And they, they, they analyze you and they see that you don't do none of them things, yet you still get by, you know. And they get jealous, they get envious of this. And oftentimes... To get that what they want, they'll even bully you in a way for your kind character, for your good heart. They'll try and pick holes in what you do merely because how they feel about themselves or merely because they're being bullied themselves by someone else, maybe at home, you know. This is what they are like. They're nothing but bullies. So they come along to you Try to tear your life apart. Try to make your life miserable. Because their life's miserable. Their life's horrible. You know? They're not happy that they have to masquerade through life with this artificial light. They're not happy they have to manipulate to get what they want. You know, I'm sick of... Um, on YouTube, it's very rampant that... Oh, the narcissist is untouchable. They manipulate people, they lie, they do this. They don't really, really want to do that. <clears throat> They're hardwired to function that way. Everything is down to predestination. They were predestined to be a follower of the enemy, right? We a follower of the positive in the world, of the good, of God, whatever you want to call it, the universe. They're not followers of that. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It'll take two seconds of your time. Thank you. But these lot are very jealous of you. They're envious. They hate the fact that you're able to just function like a normal human being. You're able to radiate with love, care, you're courteous. They wish they had those kind of attributes. They wish they had that kind of mind. But they don't. And they never will. And they never can have it. Not unless you rewired their whole brain and their whole circuitry, you know, and cut the darkness out of their heart. Maybe then... They could function like you. But that's a bit of a hard task, isn't it? So, the way I look at them, the way that they come and try and trouble us and try and bring destruction in our life, they're nothing but bullies. And maybe within their own inner circles or their family dynamics. And I know I say to you lot, it's not down to childhood why a narcissist becomes a narcissist. But in some aspects, like, you have a choice. What I meant by that is there's so many people that have been through abusive cycles at home that become campaigners against child abuse. They become a prominent figure in society against child abuse of, and things of that nature, you know. They're empaths. They, 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 they don't fold, Right? But these that are predestined 
to be narcissists, to be psychopaths, to be sociopaths, to be toxic individuals. They're predestined, they're hardwired that way. I believe they're born that way. And some of them are put through these dynamics, family narcissistic family dynamics of the black sheep, the the what is it, the scapegoat, the golden child, you know? And their narcissistic parent is treating them in such a way. And the only way they get attention from their narcissistic parent is to act like a victim. I've seen it. I've seen these family dynamics. So that's why when they come around to you, the kind, loving, courteous empath, they're resentful of your upbringing. They're resentful that you don't have to act like a victim to get attention. That you can just do you and receive grace, you know? They're resentful of that. They hate the fact that you that you can just function in life like a normal human being. What do they have to do? Oh, I'm a victim. They'll do the victim syndrome. A lot of them all suffer with a, many of them suffer with the victim syndrome. They, they 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 all do it. The amount of stories that I've heard, you know, a lot of them lie about sexual abuse. A lot of them lie about. And it's not, a, it's not a topic that we should take lightly because anyone who makes allegations of that is taken very seriously, right? It's taken very seriously. People are penalised. But sometimes these narcissists, especially the narcissists I encountered in my life, they made up fake sexual, um, sexual allegations. I heard numerous people telling me the same thing. And it's like, they do this because they're deprived of attention from their caregiver doesn't have to be their parent it might be their caregiver right they're deprived of attention from the narcissistic family dynamic so they become a bully they go and bully others <coughs> you see what i mean this is what they're like so when they come around someone like you yeah at the beginning they might love bomb you they might do all of that but deep down in the core they're resentful They're resentful about your accomplishments. They're resentful of how you can make it in this world without having to do the things that they stoop so low to do. Right? They're resentful. They hate it. They're envious. But remember, these lot are like snakes. They have the same attributes of a snake. They slither around. Right? And they've got the camouflage of a chameleon. They change dependent upon their inner circle, whoever they're around. They masquerade with this artificial light. They mirror anything that you like about these individuals. Any single minuscule little thing that you think that you like (coughs) about these individuals. (coughs) Sorry about that. (coughs) Anything that you think you like about these individuals. I mean, anything was merely a reflection of your own light, was merely a reflection of your own self that they mirrored. So you think that this person is like you, and that's how they operate, right? But they'll get further down the line, and then they'll begin to devalue you. And, you know, their true colours will come out, and it's because they can't contain it. It's because they're... They're evil by nature. So they can't contain it for long periods of time. They can't contain it. Right? But just remember, be proud of what you are. Be proud of what the the weight that you carry in the world, the stamp that you leave on the world. Be proud of that. Be proud that you don't have to manipulate like they do. Be proud that you don't have to masquerade with artificial light. Be proud that you can walk with your truths. You can walk in your truths. It's so powerful to walk in your truths. Be proud of that. You know? Be so proud of that. These lot are jealous. These lot can't tell the truth. If these lot told the truth, their whole world will collapse in on them. Cave in. We cave in. Their whole world will just seize up. Because they've told so many lies. They've done so much manipulation that if they come clean about it, their whole world would end. 
So they're running scared. Remember, they're running scared because of the lies they told. Because of the falsehood that they carry. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Just remember, they're very jealous of empaths. Anyway, if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find a link in the description box. And if you'd like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I have the secondary channel, spiritual channel. If you want to check that out, the link for that channel is also in the description box. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.